We got our first post cut, guys. Do you know how long we we were just waiting to get to this part? We could not wait to actually start building this deck because we know that that means that we can soon get some income. And guys, we're using this foundation system that we did a lot of research on. It is the Tough Block instant foundation system and this is going to prevent us from having to dig deep down into the dirt and just do so much more working this is like the new generation of foundation for decks guys i advise anyone that is building a deck to go ahead and purchase these um, we'll let you guys know how well it worked all we do is put the post in there as you build onto your deck the weight of that is just going to hold it down but i would keep you guys updated on how we have to continue to set them and, and work them in place that's pretty high babe mm. <laughs> i think that's a lot of room for even like a large animal <laughs> to climb under and be under kind of looks like a stairway to heaven so <laughs> we're gonna probably take that down a bit but i do like the fact that it's just one, two, three, go. Cut the wood, set it in the foundation, set it on the ground, and we can just keep going. You do want to make sure that you have um, the ground underneath your foundation system level. So Eric has just been kind of kicking with his feet and flattening out the ground. Um, just to make sure that there's no rocks in the way or anything kind of making that un unleveled. So it's pretty easy to, to set down. You literally just want to make sure that the ground underneath is pretty flat. And you just set it down and screw your, your boards into place. This is the part of the job where you really have to just be paying attention and know when you have hit a snag. So me and Eric was working on our last corner here and we realized for some reason we were kind of off and we couldn't get our corner to come to a square and we had to backtrack what could have went wrong, where did we go off and to our surprise, thankfully, we didn't really do anything wrong in our measurements or cut anything wrong it's just that in this corner we were supposed to overlap in the other direction like we did when we started and instead of putting um, this board here on the outside we kind of put it on the inside and that allowed our corner to be more tucked in where we needed to come out so we're gonna have to remove this board here and put this board on the outside here so that we can have um, a square corner it's not your mistake, babe. You're doing a great job. And I'm glad that you were able to find the problem and it wasn't too far gone. It's the one that we just we just set this one. So, you know, we tripped up a little bit, but we're gonna get back on track. And I'm really proud of you. Trust your huh? Trust your string line. Trust your string line, yeah. That's important. If you guys can tell, we pulled that string line out because we were like, we got this. No, you got to go with your math that you do before. He had done so much research and he was measuring for days to make sure we got the string line correct. And then when we came to this pose, and you can tell that's where it messed up, babe. You can tell because that's the one that we pulled out and we we're like, oh, we got it. As you guys can see, our rod is sitting on the floor. And so that's exactly when we went wrong, when we thought that we can trust our own eyes and take out the rod. So quick fix, not a big deal. And we're going to move on. And this thing is going to be squared away. So we have our perfect level at the top and Eric is just going to make sure that that is going to be leveled um, on the post. Smoke. 
Okay. We might have to just take a break and go to the store and pick up another one because that thing is done. Eric had to basically try to take it apart yesterday when it started to go um, a little crazy on us. By the way, guys, go ahead and check out our video. It's on our channel of where we built our bridge coming across our creek that ended up just really taking a toll on our drill. We might just need to go and get a new one. I know he's going to be happy about that. He's been wanting a new drill anyway. Hopefully tomorrow flows a lot smoothly for us because today we really came prepared to work and we did do at least what we wanted to do guys. We have the entire out of frame done. All of the posts are now in position and now we're going to be able to come back tomorrow and just be able to go ahead and start putting those joists in right away and that should help us to go so much quicker and we'll have a brand new drill so that means that we're going to be able to work so much faster. So guys, this is where we left off the other day. As you guys can tell, we did run out of juice in our drill. We worked on the bridge for a while with that drill. And then we also started the deck with the drill. But Eric's had that thing from we were in Florida and renovated our houses. So it's pretty much given up the ghost. So we had to go and try and get another drill. And I know he's really happy because he got an entire kit with all these new tools. Now I'm going to show you guys this wonderful bag of treats Eric got at the <laughs> at the local hardware store yesterday. So he took advantage of the fact that his drill and this is the old drill guys. He ended up like opening up the back of it and that thing just completely went out on him. So instead of just buying another drill, which it is a nice drill, he decided that he was going to get this um Ryobi Kind of tool kit right here and i think that thing is so awesome because now he has all these extra tools that i'm sure is going to come up in the build this is how far we've gotten and i cannot wait for us to just get the top on this deck guys so we can stand up here and show you that view off into the distance and just really take in what we've done here this is the moment we've been waiting for we could not wait to get to building and actually seeing ourselves getting closer to airbnb and now the dream is alive because we have at least a shell of something we're going to be working with so we're really excited and i can't wait to take you guys along this deck build and this journey with us Well, we are done with one side of the joist and we just have a whole other side to go. <laughs> that thing looks so amazing. A lot of hard work, but definitely worth it. So we are completely done with the other side. Everything is buttoned and fastened up and we are now moving on to the other side. Eric is now just measuring for some of the boards so we can start getting some of those cut and we're just moving this project along as fast as we can. So we are completely done with putting in our floor joist now. This thing is so huge that took a, a little minute, but we are now starting to double back and put in our support joist, I guess I will call it. And so we are going in the opposite direction and placing these smaller pieces so this is the next project and that's going to take you know a little bit just because the 
the decking is so big. So we are going to spend some time cutting these um, boards to size and getting them in there and adding extra support. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. We have the first three support boards in and I'm assuming we're going to have to do that all the way through on each side. So I'm going to get to helping because this is going to take up the majority of our day and I'll see you guys on the next step. just got done doing our structural and foundation system for our deck which will house our dome that we're going to list on Airbnb and hopefully make a lot of money so guys this deck we actually got this done in just a few days and I will go over quickly some of the really important things that we learned during this decking so first up we use the tough block foundation system and that is what you see here on the feet of all of our posts and i will tell you that that saved us tons of time and also possibly tons of money i'm so proud of us look at this deck this thing is level to the t this thing is just amazing it took us a couple of days and it's just me and eric so of course you guys know if we can do it so can you i can't wait for us to get to the point where we start actually putting the deck on top and that's going to be real soon guys it's actually going to be today but we are actually working out a little bit of calculations to make sure where we're going to put our steps where we're going to need to put rails and just any other tweaks that we want to do to this thing this thing is massive and we are putting a massive dome on the top of here so we have to make sure that everything is buckled and squared away All right, we got the first boards transferred over that we're going to kind of lay out and get um, our design going a little bit. Of course, we want to have like a, a nice stagger going on and we're going to kind of just visualize that with putting some of the boards on here. We do have um, a few, a couple of different lengths and I think that just happens because of the measurements, but Eric's going to lay them out here and we're going to kind of figure out how we want them to be laid. So we have that first row in place and Eric is basically just going to screw this whole thing down and make sure that he hits every joist and we're putting two screws per board um, when it comes to the joist so you'll see him put one on the outside on that joist and then he'll put one on the other side. Oh, it looks so good already. And this is pretty much how you want your decking to sit. So this is actually completely flat across. You want to keep that as tight as possible with, with the tiniest bit of room 
for just debris and stuff to fall through there. So guys, this is the first time that I'm walking on our deck. Of course, we already have a few boards laid so far, but look at this amazing view from up here. And just to have get gotten this far so quickly in the build is just amazing. Um, just a few days ago, we were down here messing with the foundation and now we actually can walk on our deck. So that's actually so amazing. Here's a view from above. We were able to get so much of the decking laid. Now you have to remember how huge this deck is in the first place, but we have a lot more to go. <laughs> However, things are looking so good here. Would you look at that deck behind me? We are half of the way through. It is so cold today that Eric is starting a fire back there because literally our hands are like iced right now. But can you guys tell how much work we've been doing here? The fact that we have this entire deck like halfway through and we just started this a few days ago, guys. So right behind me is where our dome is going to sit. You guys know we went to the tiny home show a few months ago and we bought this dome and it has been in our trailer down at the bottom of the property the entire time and we cannot wait to unbox this thing in front of you and let you guys see how huge and how beautiful this dome is it has a huge picturesque window that's going to be facing on the other side of the mountain so you guys would have all the mountain views it has an ensuite bathroom it also has a kitchenette it's going to have a queen size bed a sofa a dining area guys it is going to be a luxury like experience for you guys of course we're going to have it on airbnb and everywhere you rent your just vacation spots if you want to see how we turn this entire deck into a complete build continue watching because we are going to get to work right now all right so we realized that our decking is going to kind of land on a weird place here in the middle and so we are actually going to install some of these boards going across just so we have something to nail our decking into try and finish off the deck today i don't know if that's going to happen but we're halfway there and we're so excited another thing guys we are so appreciative to everyone that watches our channel if you can just hit that subscribe button guys we are halfway there to our thousand subscriber like limit where we need to be to partner with youtube we have all the watch time hours which means you guys have been doing a good job at watching However, we do need those subscriptions so we can partner with YouTube and bring you guys even more videos and share it across YouTube. So go ahead and like and subscribe and we appreciate every single one of you. We have maybe about four more planks to lay and this entire decking is going to be complete, at least for the top. And of course we have to come back and cut off our edges and we have to build stairs and we have to do a little bit more construction to this before we really call ourselves done. But as far as our decking top, guys, we only have a few short rows to go and then this thing is going to be done. We're gonna set the dome up 
just because it actually takes a little bit for the material to stretch out and because we really need to know where we're going to position it of course towards that beautiful mountain but we also need to know where our restroom is going to end up so we can plumb for the shower and run our electrical and i know you're thinking we should have probably done that before we did the deck but we thought about it and realized that because the positioning of the dome is going to be strictly dependent on where that window ends up, we really needed to get the dome on top of here so we would know where everything would land. We are just kind of buttoning up the top area. Eric is actually going to start prepping for all the utilities. So we have just been clearing out everything that we can from around the deck. And guys, look at how big and beautiful this thing turned out. I cannot believe this is something that we built ourselves. And I, I just can't wait to, to show you guys what we do here. If you haven't already, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. We're trying to get to our first thousand subscribers, so we would really appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button. And we hope that we inspire you guys to go out there and do your own glamping and get into the Airbnb business the most cheapest and quickest way possible, and that is through glamping. So we're putting a dome on this property right here on this deck, and we hope to show you exactly how how we do it and bring you all the cost and just how quickly it can be done.